Next line settles, 1,400, and away they go. And it was uh, a nice break with Pizarro in the white at the rail, the first out. Blossom Magic is up there as well. Golden Dominion, Rib Curl is there as well with Step by Step. They've been followed by Hinterland is back there too, and Royal Carrot in the white's about three lengths behind the leader. Ave Julius is further back with Equerry racing between runners. Another length away to the favourite uh, Palace line in the uh, blue and gold is about eight or nine lengths behind the leader and Connell blew the trailer. About to come for home now. They have about 900 metres left to go and Blossom Magic, the leader, by a couple. Rip Curl races away in second. Pizarro's on the inside of that. Hinterland's got about three or four to make up with Golden Dominion. Royal Carriage in the white racing up there outside. Palace Line has got about four lengths to find on the leaders. Connell Blues along the inside as they work their way to the final 500. Blossom Magic is the leader. Palace Line is now starting to come through on the far left. Has got two to go. Rip Curl in the blue in the middle. In the meantime, hit the front. It's Rip Curl. Palace Line to chase home the leader now with 200 to go. Rip Curl, but Palace Line running on now with 100 to go. And Palace Line's about to come to the lead over Rip Curl. Palace Line now goes a length ahead and Palace Line is far too strong. Palace Line wins with authority. Rip Curl second, Golden Dominion third, a mad scramble for fourth. Back to 17, we've just seen the running of the third of our eight feature races and once again we see that man David Ferraris in the uh, winner's enclosure. Now just to tell you, for the last three years David has uh, in fact annexed this trophy. Last year he won it with Kushka and the year before that, if I'm not wrong, Blossom Field. David, congratulations. Thank you very much. Thank you Cecil. Um, it's a very special day. I just want to thank one of my biggest fans, my mom, who's sitting at home in Hart Bay and I know she'll be very excited. David, thank you very much, and I think we're going to see you again before the day's out. Four Ferraris is on the list, three to you and one to Dad. Can't be a bad day, can't be a bad start. If you don't come back into the winner's enclosure, all I can say on behalf of Teletrack, it's been great, it's been a great training feat. Thank you very much, Dave. Thank you very much, Dave. Pierce Tradem, once again, we see you in the winner's enclosure. Palace Line, it was always said that this one would prove better over further, 1,400 metres. Good run. For me, it was the best run so far from uh, um, your runner here. Yeah, um, he... He was sweating a, a lot going to the start and I thought, well, you know, he has been doing it before uh, and I thought, uh, you know, it's going to affect the run, he's, he's, he's going to go backwards. But, uh, uh, you know, they went very fast uh, and uh, I thought I'll move up gradually, but he caught me a bit unawares. He, he made it up so quickly before I knew it, I was in front. So, uh, you know, I thought he's going to stop the last bit, but he never, you know. He, he started running around and I'm sure if somebody had to challenge him, he would have found a gain. He, he must be the best two-year-old at this stage of the uh, of the season. Well, all I can say is how are you feeling so far? Four races, five to go. I heard Robbie Sham say on under starters, what does he pr thinks perhaps you've got the right one from the uh, lead uh, stable for the uh, derby? Well, uh, I'm not sure whether we're in the right one. Obviously, Robbie had to pick, but uh, at this stage, we've got a big slice of the cake. You know, I mean, uh, uh, the stakes are, are good and big today, so uh, whichever one we took home uh, was going to be a bonus, and uh, we've had three so far, so uh, thank the good Lord. Well, your fans are very delighted with you, Pierre. Don't go away, we're going to have a presentation, but we're going to have a, a chat with one of the members of the syndicate who owns Palace Line, Greg Blank. JJ, please do come forward. We always talk to Greg. Please go and talk to JJ. JJ, Palace Line, five wins out of five and seems to be getting better all the time. Unbelievable today, wasn't he? He had it all to do, drawn 11, dropped him out, and uh, he's got an electric fine uh, turn of foot this horse so yeah we're hoping for big things with him i must admit good luck to you jj greg one of my colleagues back in the studio asked me to ask you if i do get to interview you are you having fun yet <laughs> <laughs> we're having a lot more fun than uh, probably fun fly last time i didn't say it but really i think all credit once again cecil to david john the team at home val at, at uh at the Val. special word always to anton who does a lot of work which goes unnoticed to my wife this one's for her and really Cecil, it's easy to have fun when you, when, when you have winners. And I think probably a very important thank you to Pumalena, who are trying their very best to get racing back where it really deserves. Uh, and Pierre did ride a good race. You know, I always have a bit of a go at him, but when it comes to real jockeyship, he is the best. He's studying, although he's very clever, he's not always the best. But, uh, you know, at the end of the day, really, thanks to everyone concerned, and uh, may there be many more. And may you uh, continue to have fun. Thank you, Cecil. Now we're going to have a presentation. And here, a member of the Racing Association, Mr. Graham Hawkins, is going to conduct the presentation. Thank you very much, Graham. This is to the uh, winning owners.
Next, the winning jockey, Pierre Stratum, the winning jockey of race four here on the card. And the next up is the winning trainer, Mr. David Ferraros. Yay! We also have another trophy here for the winning owners. That's it. We also have a trophy here for the uh, winning groom. That's Simon Mundile. Simon, please come and get your trophy. Going in and big brass in the green and